Hello, Mr. Ferguson, is it? Craig, yes. Now, I understand that you're interested in applying for the position of our friend. That would be great. I I'm very lonely. <laughs> I don't see why we like, need a new... Relax, there can be two foreign ones. Okay. I didn't know that. Come on. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? Wait, excuse me. I have the clipboard. I'll ask the questions. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? I host the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. I see. And what time is that on? 12.37 a.m. Given that AM stands for anti-Meridian, wouldn't it more logically be called the Early Early Show with Craig Ferguson? I don't know. The answer is yes. Minus eight points. I didn't know there was going to be a test. And you're really not going to like the physical. Now, please answer the following questions to the best of your ability. The first category is Star Wars. In the briefing, before the Death Star battle, Luke Skywalker is seated next to whom? Hang on, I think I know this. It's a trick question. You would think it would be Beggs, his childhood friend from Tatooine, but I'm going to go with Wedge. Correct. Five points. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Wedge. <laughs> that accent's more charming than mine. I don't like him. <laughs> Next question. For five points apiece, you have 20 seconds to name all the stretchy superheroes. Go. Uh, Plastic Man, Mr. Fantastic, uh, Elastigirl, uh, Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong is a toy, not a superhero. Yeah, but they are making a Stretch Armstrong movie. And Slinky Dog was in Toy Story. I think you see the absurdity of your argument. Okay, time's up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ferguson. I think we're done here. Uh, no, no, you, you didn't ask me a single Doctor Who question. I really don't think that'll be necessary. Good day, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Doctor Who's home planet is Gallifrey. I said good day. Doctor Who found the TARDIS in a scrap yard. Trust me, let it go. This is not a test you want to pass. Fine. I'll see you guys in a few minutes on the show. Does that mean you'll see us on the show? It was a humorous conceit predicated on a violation of the fourth wall, and I did not care for it. <laughs> we are well rid of him. Now what do we do? Cue the Late Late Show opening title montage. I just told you I do not care for that.